Hello loves and welcome to another day in my life because I have nothing better to film. Anyway, so these days I've been taking morning walks so I have to wake up like really early like 6 or 7 a.m. and I try to get like 5 to uh, 6,000 steps and by the end of the day I do achieve you know 10,000 steps so the goal is around 10,000 steps and of course i don't do it alone because why suffer alone when you have a husband whom you can share the sufferings with right so yes i drag him along with me you guys won't believe how sharp hot and sunny it is in the morning the sun literally hits my face and after i take off my hijab it's a horror scene it's so bad i don't even want to talk about it anyways after i get home i Obviously, I have to shower because I'm sweaty. So for breakfast, I had already prepared some overnight oats. So all I did this morning was assemble it. I topped it with, you know, some papaya, some cashews, and of course, honey because I'm trying to avoid sugar as much as I can. So I actually also uh, just randomly decided to make a TikTok out of it, you know, like the oats making process and I posted it and just by an hour it got like 90k and I was like, okay, I mean reasonable, right? And then suddenly it hit like 300k and I was like, wow, TikTok is such a random place. You never know what goes viral. You see, no breakfast is complete without a cup of tea or coffee and I myself am a tea person so I had a cup and it was horrible because it didn't have any sugar in it but I'm like okay with it because I've done it before so I kind of got used to the taste. After getting ready, I head out and prayed to God that I don't be late and this is my cat Blackie saying goodbye to me but she probably hated it because she hates being picked up but we do it anyways because she's so fuzzy and cute. By the way, did you guys know the sole reason for me choosing East West University is because it's closer to my home? I mean, it literally takes 20 or 30 minutes to come here and I really didn't want it to commute for like 4 or 5 hours a day. So I just chose East West very casually and now I feel like I've taken a great decision because it feels like home, you know, the people around here, the faculty members and everyone's just so sweet and friendly and welcoming. No one really like judges you for who you are and what you think or how you dress up. No one really like gives a damn about anything. At least the people I've surrounded myself with are like so. Yeah, so I really love spending time with them with these people you know just a quick visit to the tongue for some cha or some belpuri or some street food and just gossip together you know i've also learned like new lessons and i've earned new experiences and i've discovered new sides of me because i've always been kind of like an introverted person i really didn't like to socialize it's not like i can't i just didn't like it very much i still don't though but now i feel like i am capable of adapting i'm trying to be more social and be okay with being more social anyway so after i got home i got some lunch and i watched hello jadu while having my lunch it is a, a korean cartoon that i love a lot and after lunch i literally just passed out because i was so tired and when i woke up it was already evening so i had some snacks and for snacks i meant giant biscuits and my pasha pasha auntie also sent us some like chaat putty thing and it was good after that i got ready because i had to deliver a parcel which is actually uh, my bag i sold my university bag which was a, a duplicate baby of coach and michael course and i don't even know what other brands so i sold it to into a like a facebook group where people buy you know used or unused stuff 
so i sold it there and uh, the only reason i sold it was because it was too big for my necessity and i also don't like duplicates i don't even know why i bought it in the first place anyways i came home and i watched uh, now umriki sima ho which is my and my mom's favorite show right now and we are rooting for dev rai chandan vidhi of course i got hungry after that so i made some dinner and i was so tired and lazy i just like marinated some chicken and threw it into the pan and i paired it with some porota it's not like i'm on a diet or anything i'm just trying to eat less carbs good thing that i'm not really into carbs because i don't really eat rice that much or like roti or porota or anything i'm more like a protein and like um a veggies kind of person i love chicken i love egg the only carbs that i love is noodles and that's like my guilty pleasure do you even see how beautiful that looks i obviously could have made it better but i was just so lazy and tired but did you see my flip though like i am really pr proud of my flips okay there's this youtuber called dubi do pub and i really love her vibe she's mainly like a food content creator and i just love her recipes i also uh, like watching korean englishmen and i just love to see the british high schoolers trying korean things and they've recently been to korea so that's been fun like to watch them explore korea and how can i even end a day or a vlog without some bts so i'll see you guys in my next vlog until then i love his loves